All right, we got some uh, notes and thoughts on our road mode for our little Penobscot 14. Um, got the trailer a few months back and we got everything rigged with rollers and bunks. How we like it, took it out for a little trip today and everything rode good. Don't see any changes we need to make there. But uh, for road mode, we're looking at how we secure items. We went over to the ramp with the cover over the everything so we weren't worried about small little bits uh, falling out but for a longer trip uh, it was probably about a 10 minute ride longer trip uh, need some things secured so just want to get your thoughts on how you do it what you like what you've uh, tried and worked and what's tried didn't work so got a little secure hook up here also the little safety chain and they put the safety chain because these straps when they get old this whole strap can go and so we've got this also and then towards the back we'll just go back there now the skipper feeding the squirrels got the boat strap on the back and uh, this uh, nice line uh, from New England ropes wrapped peat collar style around the stem so we might get somewhere and have the stem of the boat left and nothing else but i don't think this is uh, going anywhere so we've got some items in the boat to anchor it's a little tiny anchor you spraying me with the water um a little uh, towel under it to keep it from gouging the plywood and then for this little test we just used the line that we had and a few towels we always take towels with us to put overhead or dip in the water or clean something up in the boat so we wrapped uh, took the bow line brought it a little further back and went around the belaying pins a few times tied that so that's uh, not going anywhere and it's not gouging the port or the spars brought the line back a little further It's not super tight, but good enough. Came back here, finished off the bow line here. Is about how far it worked. We've also got a um, the halyard for the sprit that's uh, floating around in here that we can use to tie things. We've, uh, we make our own little sail ties that are soft and easy to grab. And uh, need a few more of these made up to a tie. And then back here we use the uh, halyard to go around the sail and the spars and down to a little uh, cleat we have and then after where this spar is resting on the it's resting on these uh, seats got a little pad under here with a little line tied down aft and uh, but it, it moved enough for a little pad a little foam pad came loose and disappeared out on bridge road somewhere so we pulled over and tied this line. It's secured to uh, these little eye straps back here, which also keep these uh, seats from uh, floating away out of the boat because these seats are not screwed in. We can pull them up and get to storage underneath. And speaking of seats not screwed in, this one we were a little worried of these two sides that uh, they might go somewhere, so we uh, took the brailing line, came back, went around the slat and to the little riser underneath, tied it down so it'll make it where there with us. It might rattle a little bit. Ran it over to the other side. The uh, oars that ride down in the bottom of the boat, like where they ride in our Draskin lugger and the rudder. For a short trip, we threw some towels under it and it fit in there. It rides down there for a long trip. Probably put it in the car. And uh, you don't want to put a ton of weight in the boat because um, that's just extra added weight on the trailer. But the boat uh, did ride real nice. We've got uh, these custom length straps. You can pick whatever type of strap width and whatever type of buckle you want and whatever kind of hook on the end that works for your boat 
and uh, this one worked today. The uh, strap end was just long enough to tie it up somewhere so it's not flapping down the road. But uh, you want your boat, you want it snug on those bunks uh, because even just hitting the tiniest thing in the yard, the boat will bounce up, come back down on the bunks, and that's how you, one, destroy your boat, and two, destroy your trailer if it's overloaded and the boats and the trailer trying to beat each other death to death on the way to the ramp. So those are, that's what we did today. And uh, you got, if we were, you know, hair shop, we'd probably uh, make some little cleats or chocks or whatever you're gonna call them. And all these little spars might have their own little chalk that they rest in. But uh, we might look at that, but we're happy with this for now. And uh, we're getting ready to give St. Jacques a wash down. Oh, there goes Skipper with the hose. You gonna wash the whole boat and everything? Uh oh. <laughs> All right, better get to work. <laughs>